Hi guys, today we'll be creating this pretty card using some stamps by Lawn Fawn. So for the card, I have taken stitch rectangles dye, uh, a grassy dye and a fence border dye by Lawn Fawn. These two cloud frames also by Lawn Fawn. So let's begin uh, by coloring the stamps and uh, I have already stamped and pre-cut them. The bunnies are mirror stamped and uh, this is a very easy way to just uh, give a new look to your stamps. So uh, let's start with the bunny and for this uh, I am using just two um, shades and uh, the first one is a C1 by C1 which is a very dull grey and uh, you can't really see anything here but then uh, it is quite visible in the still photographs. So I'm just uh, outlining the bunnies uh, with this C1 to add a little dimension and R30 to add a little blush on uh, their cheeks. So this is simple and easy. The next is the kite and for this uh, I'm using two shades of yellow. The first one is Y17 and uh, this, is, this goes on the outside uh, areas of the kite and I'm blending it with Y15. So I'll coat a lot of uh, Wing of Stella on top of the kite and that is going to look very beautiful. So the kite is also done and uh, I'm doing a very very quick Copic coloring because I'm just experimenting with all my Copics and uh, here's the tree. So for this uh, there are two browns and uh, this is E17 going on the left hand side and blending it with E13 which is the lighter brown. So uh, by using two or three markers depending on the size of the image it's so easy to color with Copics and though water coloring is my favorite I'm really enjoying using my markers as well these days. So uh, for the leaves I'm using a G24 which is a very beautiful lime greenish color and then I'll be using two darker greens to add a little uh, depth at the center of the leaves. So the other shade which I'm going to use is G19 and I'm just flicking it uh, outside and uh, this is going to make it like a very pretty palm tree. So this is it and uh, this is BG70 eight and this is a bluish green and it again helps to create that little depth in the tree so blending it with g19 and then with the lightest shade of green i'll list all the copic markers in the description and in my blog you can visit that as well and uh, for the tree trunk since it's stamped in a brown lawn fawn uh, ink ink since it was a solid stamp I'm using uh, three shades of browns, E35, uh, E27 and E29. So what I'm doing is, I don't know the heart and uh, I'm just overdrawing the lines and uh, removing the heart in the center. So I'm using E27 for this and then just adding shading uh, on top and bottom, the darker colors on the top and bottom and then I'll be filling it with E35. So this looks very untidy initially and uh, my Copic really crossed uh, over the white lines as well. But then I had a trick in my mind which I used and uh, that is I just used a white gel pen and went around the uh, sides and everything was super clean and neat. So let's assemble the card and uh, for this I have uh, some liquid glue. I'll stick it, I'll stick the sky which is cut with a polka dot uh, blue colored paper. Uh, I'll stick it at top and this looks so pretty and cute and uh, there goes the uh, border fence and I'll just uh, put some foam tape for the grass because I want a little dimension there and uh, once that is done I will slide the border fence behind it. So it's a very very quick card and if you have already uh, colored your images and just saved them you just need to cut few things from the most versatile dyes ever by Lawn Fawn and you can create, create so many scenes and uh, 
elements so here i'm basically using two stamp sets one is uh, the mom and me i think and the other one is yay yay kites so i've merged these two and uh, the ties are also beautiful they create as if the bunnies are playing together and flying kites so here uh, when i'm sticking my tree it felt i want to trim it a bit so that it appears as if it is coming uh, far behind the fence then i just added this uh, wooden uh, uh, sorry tree trunk and the bunny with some foam and uh, then the next bunny looking at her friend or his friend in excitement next to it this is a mirror image and i'll try to make a little video because this is very quick and easy to have this mirror image of the bunny then I'm sticking the clouds and uh, I'm using my glue pen, Martha Stewart glue pen to, to do this since it's a very very thin dye. Then here goes the kite and uh, I'll just draw a little line connecting the bunny and the kite. So this basically finishes the card and I'll stamp a sentiment and uh, after loading it with the pink of Stella and uh, some more elements i'll just darken a few of the lines uh, on the bunny since it was mirror image and uh, it could not be that clear so this is how the card looks and thank you so much for stopping by see you soon bye bye take care